Well, hey friends, it is Friday evening and my kiddos went to a concert tonight. They went to go see a band called Splash and Boots. They're a Canadian duo and husband and wife and they are so awesome and so fun. So they went to go watch that with their grandma. So Shane and I went out for dinner and to then to make a Friday night really fun, we went to the bulk food store. We, we go like hog wild on Friday nights. <laughs> So anyways, I wanted to share with you what we picked up at the bulk food store, a bunch of spices and things. Um, if you are in Trim Healthy Mama, this is a Trim Healthy Mama friendly sort of haul. Um, I have some ideas and recipes in mind that involve a lot of these um, spices and some, I'm going to like attempt to make like my own homemade ranch dressing and some other different things. So I'm kind of really excited. So anyways, I'm going to share with you what I got. Okay. So first up is psyllium husk. And this is something that I will use for Trim Healthy Mama recipes. They have something called Wonder Wraps, so it's sort of like a tortilla, but because we don't use wheat flour or things like that with Trim Healthy Mama, um, they use this psyllium husk instead. And so this container, this bag right here, cost me $2.63. And next is coconut flour. Again, I use this a lot with my Trim Healthy Mama recipes. This is organic coconut flour and this cost me three dollars and fifty four cents. Now I can get coconut flour in a package a little bit bigger than this for around I think around seven dollars or so. So this was a savings and um, because I don't use it a ton but I use it enough that I like to have some on hand so this is the perfect amount. So next was star anise and this is kind of a licorice sort of spice and they're kind of in these little star shaped um, little things <laughs> and um, anyways I'm gonna use this for a wassail recipe and if you are doing Trim Healthy Mama that recipe is in the cookbook under cranberry wassail and this little bit here cost me nine cents and then because it's roast season I picked up a few bay leaves to add into roasts and soups and stews and so these bay leaves cost me 14 cents if I were to buy a package of these, I would never go through all of them, um, and so this is kind of the perfect amount. I can get a few recipes out of these, and they can add flavor, and I'm not wasted a lot of money. 14 cents is like nothing. So next is ground cloves, and I hope to be making my own pumpkin pie spice. They did actually have pumpkin pie spice there, um, but I opted to just kind of use some of the spices that I already on, had on hand, um, in and then adding the ground cloves so I can kind of use up some of what I have on hand because spices do go bad. Um, and so I've got a lot of the other things, so that will be good. And this cost $1.30. And next up is minced onion. I have some of this already on hand, but I could tell that I was starting to get low, and some of my recipes do involve this. So I picked up a little bit, and this was $0.42. Cents. And next was some sage. Again, we are headed into turkey season. Canadian Thanksgiving is just a couple days away. And so I'll likely be making soup and different things like that. And I'll need sage. And so I picked up a bit. Um, and this was 19 cents. And then I picked up some onion powder with Trim Healthy Mama. Onion powder is kind of a staple. You use it in all kinds of recipes. And I'm not sure I'm going to really like this onion powder. It's a bit different than what I buy at, say, Walmart. Um, so we'll see. I didn't get too much of it because it seems very powdery to me. I'm not sure how that's going to go. So anyways, I won't be out a whole lot of money, though, because this was only 68 cents. And next is seasoned salt. I love, love, love seasoned salt on hamburgers. It is my favorite, 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 favorite way to make hamburgers is to sprinkle seasoned salt on it. Um, and my seasoned salt that I picked up from the grocery store a little while ago has started to get kind of, um, not watery, but it's, it's just going bad. So um, I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to use this instead. And this cost me... One dollar and twenty-eight cents. Actually, I'm sorry, that was wrong. That cost me sixty-two cents. So next, this little bundle here is called nutritional yeast. I've never had this before, and um, but it's raved about in the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook, and apparently it has a cheesy flavor. And they recommend to sprinkle it on soups, on salads, um, on popcorn. 
and I thought I'd give it a go. This was $1.28, and this is a pretty uh, hefty sized bag. This is probably about a cup. Um, I do have a recipe that I'm going to try from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook called um, Superfood Sprinkles, and so you mix a couple, cup of this with some other spices and Parmesan cheese um, to make a, a salad topping. So anyways, I'm going to give this a go, and again, this was $1.28. Okay, so the last thing that I picked up at the bulk food store was almond flour, or almond meal, sorry, almond meal. Um, and so what this is is basically just ground almonds. And again, I will use this in my Trim Healthy Mama recipes, and this will be for a lot of baked goods. So there's some really yummy recipes floating around on Pinterest that I want to try, um, and so I wanted to have some almond meal on hand. And this... <laughs> unfortunately it was nine dollars and seventy four cents anything that involves almonds so almond flour like that kind of thing um, tends to be pretty pricey so this exa wasn't exactly a steal but it is something that I will use and it's purchased in an amount that I will use it in so I'm not going to be wasteful with it so the total for all of these spices was um, twenty dollars and sixty three cents so because I got all these new spices, I needed some containers to hold them in. And so we stopped at a store here called Canadian Tire. It's kind of like a big giant Walmart, only there's more manly things like tires and tools. Um, but there is household stuff, and so when my husband was off looking at the hunting stuff, I was looking at little spice jars. And so I picked up five, and these were 99 cents each. These kind of match the spice jars that I already have. Um, they're quite similar, only they're a lot smaller. So these will be perfect for a lot of the spices I have because some of the ones that I picked up, I don't have um, already on hand, so I don't already have a jar for it. So I got five of these. They cost me a little over five bucks with tax, and I will put all of my spices in and get my recipes and concoctions going. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you do any bulk food shopping, like spices and things. I'm always looking to find new stuff. The funny thing was, at 7.30 on a Friday night, the bulk food store was packed. There were tons of people in there, but I think most of them were getting candy for Friday night movies, because <laughs> that seemed where people were kind of milling around about a lot, and there were tons of good candy. So anyways, let me know if you get anything, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will chat with you later. Bye!